Deputy President William Ruto on Friday joined other leaders in the country and Kenyans to mourn the death of the third president of Kenya, Y. Kibeki. This is Ruto's message of condolences to the Kibeki family and Kenyans, I join you in mourning a truly unique and iconic Kenyan who is immensely rich and highly exemplary life has blessed our nation with countless tangible and intangible legacies whose impact shall endure for many generations to come. The late president, His Excellency Mwai Kibeki, is a man of many excellent attributes and colossal accomplishments. A prodigious scholar, brilliant technocrat, visionary statesman, successful politician and inspired Pan-African, he left his mark everywhere he worked. In both word and deed, Mwai Kibeki expressed his vision for how we can live in freedom and prosperity by working every day towards dignity and self-sufficiency. The late President Kibeki was born into a humble family struggling, as did millions of other Kenyans, at the bitter end of colonial domination. By applying himself admirably to his studies in threadbare rural schools, he nevertheless excelled and joined the Holy Ghost College, Manu, where his abundant intellectual gifts blossomed. During that time, Kibeki proved industrious in and out of school, assisting his parents in various subsistence tasks, and even working as a bus conductor to raise much-needed resources to finance his education. Through his discipline, focus and dedication, Y. Kibeki once again excelled in his studies and was accepted to make Makariria where he emerged first of the class of 1955 with first-class honors in economics, economics political science and history. This earned him a scholarship to study public finance at the London School of Economics, where he scored a distinction. He returned to Makariria to teach, before he was offered a position as the executive officer of Kenya's liberation movement, Kanyu. Y. Kibeki served government as a permanent secretary in the Ministry of Finance. Afterwards, he successfully contested a parliamentary seat at Dunhome constituency, and became an assistant minister at Independence, before shifting gear to represent Uthaya for the rest of his political career. In that time, Y. Kibeki rose to the position of minister, becoming a celebrated minister of finance, and later vice president as well as minister in various portfolios. Y. Kibeki served his government party and president loyally, diligently and courageously until 1991, when he resigned to start his party and political career in the opposition. He remained steadfast, courageous, intellectual robust, visionary and patriotic. His consistency, love for his country and her people, refusal to embrace tribal politics and willingness to collaborate with a broad spectrum of like-minded actors was finally rewarded in 2002 when his Rainbow Coalition easily overran Kanyu, a decades-old behemoth. Y. Kibeki served as president for a decade that now seems to be Kenya's golden years. Finally, he had the opportunity to prove his propositions, and he did not disappoint. An implacable meritocrat, he tapped into Kenya's rich talent bank and appointed technocrats and other highly qualified professionals to impact full leadership positions in his government. He then empowered them to run their dockets while firmly holding them accountable for their decisions. The result was a government that hummed with purpose, unlocking optimism in the nation that propelled economic growth from its historic lowest to its highest. In an inspired decade, Kenya was transformed right before our eyes, and we learned that with legitimate, commitment and the support of the people, all is possible, Yote Yazikana. Y. Kibeki taught Kenyans that the secret of a prosperous future does not lie in abundant natural resources, it lies in them. I had the honor of serving as Y. Kibeki's Minister for Agriculture and for Higher Education. In that brief period, Y. Kibeki enabled and encouraged me to align my ministry's work with a sound vision that can benefit all Kenyans. He was a gentle mentor, a firm guide and a tireless manager. He did not sweat the small stuff, but was extremely vigilant about what mattered. This was the secret of his consistency and ability to remain committed to a vision throughout his career. Y. Kibeki ensured that in his tenure, Kenyans were productive, that they earned better incomes, that government services and infrastructure actually reached and served them, and that public institutions supported his vision and work. Y. Kibeki expanded the revenue base, exponentially increased revenue collection and feed Kenya of debt. He initiated highly impactful infrastructure projects whose purposes were consistent with his vision. Y. Kibeki ensured that the deadlocks that had denied Kenya a new constitution were untangled, and inaugurated a robust, exhaustive, inclusive and democratic engagement whose final output is a constitution that we will always be proud of. 
Under this constitution, we are continuously affirmed that we are an unbuggable people, that tyranny will always be kept at bay and defeated, that shared prosperity is within reach, and that freedom will never depart our shores. When the time came for Mwaikibaki to retire, he did so graciously and cheerfully, finally finding time to immerse himself in his family after five decades of national service. Mwaikibaki is one of my strongest inspirations in politics, leadership and national service. By coincidence that seems providential, our careers, from the academy into Kanyu, through parliament and ministerial and cabinet exhibit broad parallels from which I draw much personal encouragement. Mwaikibaki was the gentleman of Kenya's politics and government. He was a kind boss to me, and a humorous mentor. Like many Kenyans mourning him, I will miss him. I extend my condolences to Mwaikibaki's family. My personal words of comfort as well my family's prayers go out to them in this moment of sorrow, that God may comfort Jimmy, Judy, David and Tony, their spouses and children with divine solace. May you find the serenity to contemplate and rejoice in the incomparable gift to humanity that Mwaikibaki was, and draw strength at all times that in many good ways, Mwaikibaki contributed and will always contribute to the smile on our faces, and the peace in our hearts. We know that Kenya is a land of possibilities because Mwaikibaki hustled his way from a rural village to global acclaim, and his legacy was to keep the path open for all who will, to chase their dream. In memory of Mwaikibaki, I ask all Kenyans never to let go of that hope, that dream, that vision, Yot Yazikana. Stay unbuggable always. May God keep Mwaikibaki's soul in eternal peace. May God bless Kenya.